It's essentially the same movie. Tale as old as time. 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 Tale as old as. It's basically the same movie. If that's not a problem for you, go ahead and watch it. They add some new stuff, some songs, some backstory. And you might have watched this already since it already made $870 million. I watched the movie for free. My little sister wanted to see it since it was her birthday. I said, fuck that shit. She bribed me with the ticket, food, and coffee. So here we are. I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel anything. I like LeFou. They gave him some character development, which is nice. I also liked how they made Gaston a legitimately evil guy. I'll cite one of my favorite YouTubers right now to show you my problem with Gaston 1.0. So let me go over the reasons we hate Gaston. He's arrogant and overly concerned with how people look. Like how the Beast was, pre-curse. He imprisons Belle's father after the Beast has already done that. Oh, also Gaston kills animals for sport, I guess, and the Beast only does that for self-defense. Although they are serving meat in the castles. I know the reason Gaston exists is he's like the Beast's character foil. Like the Beast looks like a beast, but he's kind. And Gaston looks like a man, but he's beastly. But this doesn't really fly when you look at the bare bones actions of each of the characters and they do a lot of the same stuff. Here, Disney took the extra step to make him an unlikable villain. To leave someone out in the woods to die. Fuck you! He manipulates the foe to do his bidding. Fuck you! He demands that Belle marry him or else he'll lock her up in an insane asylum. Oh, fuck me. Evil shit. I think he did that before. It always seemed to me that Gaston was like a villain because of circumstances and frustration. Can I have an apple, please? Here, it's his nature. I don't like Emma Watson as Belle. I think there's another actress that is better for the role. But she has chemistry with the Beast, which you need in a romance story. Everyone actually acted well. I was surprised that there were big names attached to this thing. I thought, hey, these bit actors are great. And then holy fuck, it's Obi-Wan Kenobi and Magneto. The ending actually made me tear up a bit, which is a testament to their skill. I'ma give this my recommendation now before I get into spoiler territory. It's a qualified watch. While I did feel something, I really didn't like it for reasons I'll get into in the spoiler section. At the same time, I think it's still good to watch like in a Netflix or for a rental. I think it's good for that. They still do the five days and I'm in love with you thing, which is hilarious because they have already dealt with this absurd concept in their other films. You can't marry a man you just met. They did this annoying thing the backstory, specifically with Beast. They have a line which says that the Beast's mom died while he was young, so his piece of shit dad raised him. And they don't delve deeply into that, which is annoying as fuck. If you're gonna add that line, but not do anything else with it, don't add it. I can believe that Beast is just an entitled prick. Spoiled superficial rich kid? Holy fuck, that's like character making 101. They did dive into Belle's backstory, which is good and bad. We learned that Maurice oh, you can used to live in Paris with the mom, but he won't tell Belle how she died. Turns out that the mom got the plague in Paris, that's why they went to the province. But as you know, they're living in the woods in France, right? To get to Paris, Beast had this portal book, which you could go anywhere you want to so long as you touch it. And them going back triggers her memory, yada yada. But this throws a wrench into the whole third act. Papa! No! He's sick! He may be dying, and he's all alone! Then, you, you must go to him. What did you say? I release you. You're no longer my prisoner. You mean... I'm free? Yes. Oh, thank you. Hold on, Papa. 
Why not use the book? Beast and Bell get him. They go back. They make out. It works. Why didn't they just stick to the old plot? The more you try to explain shit, the more complicated it got. And finally, the moral of the story. This was even in the old version, right? Don't judge people by their looks. It's what's inside that counts. Mm-hmm. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. There's a problem, though. Beast becomes hot at the end. I'm not saying that's not true. I'm saying your moral is not aligned with the ending. If you really wanted that ending, have Beast be a middle-aged guy. See, the real moral of Beauty and the Beast is be friends with an ugly guy who's fun to be with and has common interests with you and someday he might become hot as fuck. 